Hey, what's up, guys? This is Edo Speaks back again with another video. So, I wanted to talk about the recent latest news regarding the Conor McGregor and his recent two losses. Now, as we know, that from USC 264, he lost by Dr. Stoppage against Dustin Poirier um, in the second round. Um, it was a tragic injury that happened. I think his, he broke his foot, similar to what happened to Chris Weidman and Anderson Silva from earlier this year and from 2013 from Anderson Silva. But as regards to that, I think it was safe to say that Conor McGregor is, was going to lose that fight, especially after a dominating first round from Dustin Poirier. Now, some people are saying that he could have possibly won the fight if it continued to go for it. You may be right. That's, you know, you don't know. It's a UFC. Anything can happen. You know, especially with the multiple ways that you could lose, especially with knockout, TKO, uh, referee stoppage, or submission, so far and so forth. But I would be safe to say that Dustin Poirier was going to win that fight either in a knockdown, a knockout, or this or this decision on his part. But that's not what I wanted to get into. So the reason I made this part two so overrated because of the recent video I made from a while ago called Conor McGregor's overrated and I list the details of why he was overrated and I stay firm on those reasons why he's overrated as a UFC fighter. Now don't get me wrong, he was at one point in time a great UFC fighter but over time with the money, the fame and not that hunger and drive that he had is you could tell he's starting to lose it and now you know people are starting to see like what's next for him okay he still compete at a high level i personally think he can't no more but there's still some people who think he can for some strange reason but as you can see from his rap last recent fights you could tell that he just doesn't have it no more i wanted to go over his uh disgusting personality that uh, Conor McGregor exudes whenever he's like hot or angry about something. Because the, the second fight against Dustin Poirier, he came off as respectful. He came off as a changed guy. He wasn't boasting. He wasn't talking trash. He was being quite respectful. He was being cordial with Dustin Poirier in the lead up to the fight and everything was going well. And then after that, when he had got his ass beat, and uh, I guess Dustin Poirier in part two of the fight, he went back to his old ways, to his old personality, started talking trash, started talking vulgar, started being malicious, started like threatening Dustin Poirier. During the fight week, he literally said, like during the weigh-ins, he said, I was, I'm going to murder him in the cage, blah, blah, all this like reckless talking abandonment. And it's like, wow, like that's the type of edge that you need to fight somebody seriously so i just i could just tell he was trying to hype himself up the same thing he did against khabib before khabib booked his ass during their lead up to the fight but i could tell conor mcgregor was just trying to be like he was trying to amp things up trying to get people excited trying to get as much eyeballs as he want and also trying to hype himself up too because conor mcgregor does that a lot he tries to bite off more than he could chew and end up biting him in the ass itself but that's a that's for later on down the story as regards to that because when in the fight, this guy leg broke in the second round and he's yelling out, Dr. Stoppage, Dr. Stoppage, Dr. Stoppage, because he wants this loss to not look as bad as it is. Because, you know, if you could tell, if you could put it as a Dr. Stoppage, you could just spin the narrative and say, oh, I got injured. That's the only reason I lost. Let's run it back for a, a part four, whatever. And, you know, his fans are going to run with it because majority of his fans are casuals. They're not pure blood UFC fans that were back in the day before Conor McGregor came. They only watched Conor McGregor and probably that's about it. Probably other fighters that Conor McGregor is rival against. But after that, they don't really watch USA like that. They're more casuals. They're just ardent Conor McGregor fanboys. And that's about it. So... He was yelling, Dr. Stoppage, Dr. Stoppage. They, they announced that was a Dr. Stoppage. So now he could spin that narrative, say that he lost because he was injured. That's well and good, but I still think he, if the fight continued to move forward, he was going to lose that fight. And that was going to be a real big blow. So he kind of saved himself with that. Now, the thing that pissed me off was even after losing, this guy was still talking shit. Going off about Conor uh, Dustin Poirier still talking trash and it's like bro your leg just broke 
relax and calm down. Like, I don't get what's up to this guy. And then he started to berate Dustin Poirier's wife saying, your wife's in my DMs, this F on doing that, just the disgusting, disgraceful, vulgar language from him after getting after the fight is stopped and this is the, this is the thing that makes people not like conor mcgregor as a person because it's like you have to do all this for what like you got your ass beat take it like a man and move forward either run it back or go to the next fighter but as of right now since he got injured they're gonna try to run it back for a part four, I don't think that's a good idea, especially coming off that type of injury. He's gonna be out for at least a year and then come back, and we don't even know what type of fighter he's gonna be after that year of layoff. Because in the UFC, once you have like a long, long layoff, you tend to get rusty, and you're not gonna be the same as you were when you were at the peak condition when you were fighting regularly, three to four times out of the year. But you know, we'll see what happens with that. That's important. I think has moved on from it. I think he's going to fight Oliveira for the title. I think that's what's best for him. Waiting for Conor McGregor to come back after that injury to do a part four. It's like, for what? You already proved what you have to prove. You beat him the second time. You beat him this time. You probably would have beat him even if he wasn't getting get hurt. And it's like, there's no point for a part four because it's like, what What does Dustin Poirier gain out of this except for a big paycheck and pay-per-view points? But that's... That's a decision for him. I still think I see that he did challenge Oliveira for a title, and I think that's good. So let's see him fight for a title, and we can move the division off along and try to slowly but surely move away from the McGregor era. Because while he did elevate the sport to new heights and popularity, he also ruined the sport as well with all these super fights and not defending the title and doing a whole bunch of like incendiary nonsense by. Like disrespecting your opponents, talking trash, being disrespectful. And while that's good for TV, it's just come off as crass and rude on his part. And, you know, again, his fans are going to like it. Other people are going to like it. I just think there's a media bias to Conor McGregor when he does that type of stuff. Because I feel like if another fighter would have been doing that type of, like, trash talking, they don't look down on him. They don't say he's being cocky, he's being arrogant, he's being rude. But for Conor McGregor, when he does that type of stuff, there's the media changes and it's, oh, he's being brash, he's being bodacious, he's being brave, he has moxie and all that type of garbage. But still, I, I, there's certain lines that you don't cross when you're getting at that type of trash talk. Because when the most like things that made me really pissed off were about Conor McGregor is when he started attacking Khabib, when he started to insult him, insult his wife, insult his father, insult his religion. He started going way off the deep end and that, that rivalry between him and Khabib went nasty where Khabib was taught, was uh, confront, was confronting Lobo and then Conor McGregor flew all the way from Ireland to New York through a dolly at a, a bus and almost injured uh, UFC fighters and things went bad after that. So. I don't want something like that to happen again. While it is entertaining, but still make sure the fighters and anybody else or civilians don't get hurt from these fighters' beef as regards to these type of rivalries. So, Conor McGregor is going to be resting. He's going to, you know, heal out from his leg. He already did surgery. He's good from now on. But I don't see where he goes on from here because, to be honest, I don't think he has that hunger and drive like he used to back in circa 2014 or 15 to compete against the highest level competition like Aldo, Alvarez, or Diaz like they used to. And if they were to make a Diaz and Conor McGregor part three, I don't think it's going to have that same appeal as it was if they had did it a couple of years ago because these guys are older and they're not as in their prime as they're used to. Now, Conor McGregor is like what, in his early 30s, but still you could tell like the money, the fame, getting up out of bed just to work out and train. He just doesn't have it no more. He made it. And I also heard talks of he might be fighting Manny Pacquiao in a boxing match. He's going to get destroyed in that. But, you know, he's just onto other stuff. He also has his whiskey business, Proper 12. So he's making money outside of the UFC where it, it might not even be he needs to fight anymore. So... Does he still want this? Does he still want to do it? Does he still have the love for the sport? And those are the type of questions as a Conor McGregor fan or just an MMA fan in, in general. Those are the type of questions you have to ask him. Like, 
what where do you see yourself moving forward? Because if he can't beat Poirier, he can't. I don't think he could beat Oliver. I don't think he could beat the top five fighters in the UFC in that division for 155 to contend for a title. Because those are like they're, they're guys are fighting two three times a year, and I, I'll, give, I'll give Conor McGregor credit. He was fighting. He was being active. But now this injury slows him down. Now he has to take another year layoff to rest, heal up, and he has to train and then schedule for another fight. So where does he go from here? I don't see him contending for a title. I don't see him becoming a champion. And if he can't contend for a title or become champion, is it still is it best for him to continue fighting? Because at this point, Conor McGregor is not a USC champion fighter. He's not a USC champion type fighter right now. He's more of a spectacle. And if he continue to be a spectacle, where, where does he go from there to continue fighting? Who is he going to fight? Because that Donald Cerrone fight, while I was, it was an impressive win on his part, I wasn't impressed by it. But is he going to continue to fight, fight bottom top 10 fighters? No, he's going to really try to watch that, you know? So those are my thoughts and opinions on the matter. Let me know yours down in the comment section down below. This Eo speaks out.